welcome to the interactive body balance radio show for health and fitness tips. All right, here we go. Welcome back to Interactive Body Balance Radio. I'm your host, Mike Dasick, and thank you guys for always joining our show from all over this world. You know it. We talk health, fitness, nutrition, and personal development. I want to get another January show out there. Hope you're all surviving uh, the cold weather, at least up here in Canada. I think it's minus 14 degrees today. And the backyard rink is, is uh, humming along. Kids are playing hockey. It's all good. And of course, we are always getting questions. We're always doing work on health, you know, personal development, you know, just getting. Folks, the amount of calls I, I will receive or texts of people that have, you know, put on weight, their health is in the tank, they can't get motivated, their workouts are gone, especially during COVID, like for the last year, it's hourly, right? So I feel compelled to do these shows for the people that, I, that don't have my office number, my cell number, my email, uh, or whatever, right? Because it's it's a way to get it out there. Because if they're struggling, I know you are struggling too on a worldwide level. And I hope this is a place where you can get reassurance, confidence, security, you know, uh, feel good about yourself, but also get impactful and insightful information. That's why we do the show, right? It, it, it actually costs money to make the show, as you can imagine, for systems and, and apparatus and, and different SaaS programs to run it. Uh, but it's out there, right? And uh, that's why we do it. So I had this question a few times this week, I think probably four, on sleep and sleep apnea and how to, you know, improve it, how they can improve their sleep and get through different, you know, uh, scenarios and situations. As you know, I always say you have to get the fundamentals right. So nutrition's really important, you know, getting a good work in, so have a good weight, you know, you know, make sure you know you have to keep your weight at a good level. Uh, you know the meditation, the stress reduction. Uh, you know I'm a huge. You know my, my faith is is Catholic, so I'm a huge believer in prayer. Uh, that goes without saying. And again, it always has been. But these are some other things that are really helpful, right? Um, and I've used with other clients in the past, right? So many sleep apnea patients and clients for many years, right? So. You know, there's also supplements that, that have worked well for people. I've discussed melatonin. That's an easy one. Um, there's also, I'm not an advocate of it, but other people have used CBD. I don't use it. I don't recommend it, but other people have with some success. I just bring it up because they have. Uh, you know, there's many other sleep aids, right? From, you know, even having certain essential oils in the room, you know, lavender, etc. Keeping the room at a good temperature. Don't eat you know, after 6 p.m., so stop eating after 6 p.m., uh, limit the carbs, you know, even after that time too, don't have any, even a snack, because carbs can keep you up, right, uh, with blood sugar fluctuations, those are all obvious to me, and I hope they're obvious to you, if not, uh, please reach out and I'll give you more, but these ones here are a little different, okay, laser therapy, uh, you know, I'm looking at an article right here on laser therapy and how they use it, um, kind of non-invasive, non-surgical, to use the lasers in your throat um, to help out and to to work with the the pathways and, and allowing more oxygen, um, you know, through the body. I've done an entire show on this laser therapy, and this one here is like lasertherapyhealthacademy.com. I have no affiliation. I'm just it's just an article that I'm looking at, but other patients have tried it with success. So just Google laser therapy for sleep apnea, and, and you go from there. Okay. Again, I've done a whole show on it, like just just on that one topic, but. Google that. I'm here to give you guys information. Number two, uh, again, I mentioned uh, briefly, but diffusers in the room with essential oils. The lavender is great. You know, peppermint's good for opening up the airways. Uh, diffusers in the room are excellent, okay? You guys can do this. Get some essential oils. Put it in. It's very helpful. Cervical pillows or elevated head position. Uh, I mentioned this before. You know, sleeping on your side is very good. You need to open up the airflow. Sleep apnea people... Have limited airflow. Sleeping on your side uh, is, is helpful. It opens it up. But again, cervical pillows or elevated head position is important too. This is just a fringe one, but there's some there's some information and some research on it. You know, having different some honey at night curbs inflammation. Natural moisturizer uh, uh, for your throat, right? 
Um, just a fringe one, but people can say, oh, it's not really scientific. Whatever you guys want, man. I mean, just I'm sharing with you what I see here, do, and what's out there, okay? Uh, here's a really unique one, but you got to watch it. Again, always seek the advice of your medical doctor. Don't just say Mike told me to and then do it. But there's an MIT study out there on Yohimbine for treating it. You can Google Yohimbine. I've told other clients this this week uh, about you know, Yohimbine and sleep apnea. There are side effects to it. Again, proceed with caution. I just give options. This is what I do. But when I see some studies out there or look at it, um, I just bring it to your guys, you know, uh, to your to your brain, right? I want you guys to look into stuff. I never heard of it until recently, but it uh, there's some stuff out there. Yo him buying. Uh, there's different implants that you can use for sleep apnea. There really is. There's there's crazy stuff. I sent one to a client years ago. He's like, you want me to do that? I'm like, I don't want you to do anything. I'm just sharing with you what they're doing with the latest research on sleep apnea and different implants to help uh, help out, right? So there's, I don't know, five or six different ones for you fine folks on things you can do to help with, with sleep apnea. Uh, look into it, research it. I know, I think the study said 18 million Americans and I know it's the Canadian audience here that I'm giving to, but again, we are around the world. I think it's many, many, I don't know, dozens of different countries this podcast reaches. But 18 million Americans have issues with sleep apnea. That's a lot of people, right? I know they have 330 million. You, you still get the point, right? You're talking, you know, five, six percent of the population having issues with sleep apnea. So that's pretty substantial. Um, all right, what else? The first book, The Transformation from Within, it's free on the website. You can go on over there and grab it. Second book, How to Restore Your Health. Uh, it's selling like crazy. I'm blessed. We're thankful. Um, you guys are awesome. You're buying the hardcovers. You're getting them shipped. I, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, we do that for a reason. I'm looking at dozens of them in my office right now that we give out to local people uh, just to educate them on health, right? Health and well-being. It's it's what we do. The website, as I mentioned, and, and, and we're looking at, uh, it is going to get redone in the next month or so. So we're looking at options for redoing the whole website, making it more practical. One of the one of the developers told me there's 2,000 pages of information on MikeDacic.com. So M-I-K-E-D-A-C-I-U-K.com or InteractiveBodyBalance.com. There is a lot of information, but we need to curate that, make it smaller, you know, synthesize it, bring it down to a more palatable level where people can actually understand it and, and know what the website does. And that's, again, hopefully by March or April, it's all done and, and there's a good spot to go. Uh, again, we're all over the place. Uh, if you just Google Mike Dasik or Interactive Body Balance, we're fortunate to help you and serve you and provide tips uh, for a better living, right? That's what we want to do. Uh, the email is always the same. I said I mentioned it, but it's info at MikeDasik.com please send emails we get them every day and we review them and we, and we respond accordingly and that's where people can find stuff so that's it for the administrative stuff i hope you guys like some of the tips uh, we'll try to bring this show to you more often as i always say I, I do you know we get busy with lots of great corporate work having the four kitties running around uh medical questions medical patients medical everything and and, and building everything else up it's busy but it's our calling. We've been called to help people. That's what we do. And that's that. So one last comment before I get into how I conclude the show is, I know many people are hurting right now. Uh, it will get better. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, I think that you guys just have to keep plugging away. I say this to a lot of you know clients I talk to one-on-one. -on -one. It's the season of just getting the work done. So you got to put your head down. You have to plant the seeds. You have to do the work. And eventually it'll reap a harvest down the road. Uh it's, uh, everything's a sign, folks. Everything's a sign. If, if things aren't going your way and things aren't flourishing yet and, and blooming, you got to put in more work. If relationships are suffering, you got to you got to take care of that, right? You have to spend some time and focus on that. If your kids aren't doing well, then you have to maybe spend more time with them and work on their schoolwork with them. You know, read some books with them, do some puzzles, be creative. When there's a thing wrong and something's not going right, there's always a reason for it, and you have to be, you know, open to understanding what's what's happening, what's the reason, and how to rectify it. That's how we work, and nothing's ever perfect. Nothing's ever straight up linear, you know, going in a in an upwards trend all the time. There's peaks and valleys, and just recognize that. That's all you can do is recognize your peaks and valleys, and and do the best you can. I always say be better than the day before. All right, I wanted to say that because you know I there's a lot of 
a lot of strife going on. A lot of people are suffering right now. So there you go. All right. How do I conclude the show? As I said, all right, every day. Kids, got to work hard. No substitute for hard work. There's no shortcuts. There's no, I'm just going to lay on the couch and get something done and win a lottery or things are going to come to me or people are going to knock on my door with $1,000 or $10,000. You got to work. Okay. Put in the work. Having a work ethic and know that this world demands work. It, it rewards people who work really hard. And if you work really hard and really smart, then you get rewarded even more so. Okay. Number two, add your value to the world. So you have a skill set, a unique skill set. Every one of you listening does. I don't know what it is because I don't know everybody here, but you got a unique skill set. Please share it with the world. Number three, you know what's my favorite? Help other people, right? Go out of your way to help people make the world better for them. I always say this, cheer them up, give them encouragement, you know, help out monetarily if you can. So donate to charities if you can. Volunteer where you can. These are important. Help people. Uh, that is always a fundamental um, staple in my life. And number four, smile and have some fun. With everything going on, you gotta, you gotta have fun. We're gonna play lots of hockey this weekend, and, you know, outdoor stuff, fresh air, you know, all that great stuff. But you gotta do that, okay? Smile and have some fun. Team, live with passion, live with purpose, live with intent. I hope you found the show helpful, and we'll talk to you guys real soon.